My name is Mark Ogilvy and I'm the design director for RuneScape. A design director is responsible for the vision, the game. It's the game world, so all of the characters that exist within that game and the new stories that we add to the product as well. So the new updates, the new gameplay, the quests, the adventures, the dungeons. It's almost like an author of a book. Um, quite often that book will become quite popular and lots of other people will write stories about the things within that book and that author will decide whether or not they're the right or the wrong stories to write about their characters. That's very much the kind of thing that I do. So I've been involved with the games industry for about 20 years. Today, um, I played through a piece of content, a new um, Easter event that we've got in our game. So I'm playing through it, pretending that I'm a player of the game, really, um, making sure that the right information is there so that the new players that come to play that particular piece of content truly understand what, we, what, what it is that they've got to do. Did anything, uh, did you find anything else from any other research about the boots? Quite often being in the games industry is like being a big kid. So I can go down at lunchtime and I can play console games with my friends, we can shoot pool. But lots of us around the office have got Nerf guns. Uh, because, you know, once, once someone starts a war, war grows. And everyone has to make sure they can defend themselves. So everybody's got a gun tucked under their office just in case everything starts kicking off, right? Carnage. Of course, I have got the biggest gun, which is great. Watching your ideas come to life is the greatest part of my job. So. It's just a little thing that's in your mind that's kind of bouncing around in the caverns of my brain somewhere. And actually seeing an artist putting pen to paper or, and, and seeing an animator watch these things move around is, uh, is an amazing experience. So this is an idea that I had a long time ago. Um, and it's fantastic when an artist actually puts these things to life. So you can see the costume that she's wearing. She's got this like re really rich, opulent costume but it's all been torn up by all of the adventuring that she's done over the years and, the, and she's like a kind of cross between Lara Croft and Indiana Jones uh, and Robin Hood. Now when I was at school I wasn't much of an artist so I might have these cool crazy ideas but I wouldn't be able to draw a nice picture of it or I wouldn't be able to sculpt it out of clay and working in the games industry means you work with people who are fantastic at those things. Uh, so we've got some elven headphones. Oh, they're cool. As well, which are really cool. Just because you can't draw a cool picture, or just because you can't right. design a cool environment, doesn't mean you can't join the games industry. What's that? What's the, um, uh, what's going on here? There are a lot of jobs for people who are, have creative minds, who can come up with these ideas, can find fun in, in areas that you weren't expecting to find fun, and also can find gaps in the market. Here, um, we, much, we really believe in people who can, who can prove that they're able to do these things. So whilst I'll look at CVs, which have got you know, impressive university degrees, quite often the difference is made when people can actually show me something that they've made. If people have actually spent the time to craft a product, put it online, listen to people's feedback, it can be a tiny little game. There's all sorts of free websites that you can use and free software to be able to create games. Those are the kind of people that I listen to, um, that I want to see um, come into the company. Hey, 